What's up? Yeah, the original crew is back after a long hiatus. Say something, la. Hello. You the intro, ma. Song starting already. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Shh. Yo, we got Xu Fei and Ryan back in the house. Welcome back, man. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's been a while. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, the last time we were on Three the same us. show. Uh, no, me and Ryan were. I think uh, were we? No, it was quite a while. Puyi, no. Is it? Oh, Puyi, so. you remember lah? La. <laughs> oh yeah, it is yeah, Puyi. Yeah. yeah. Three of us. That was last year. Was it last year? No. Was it? Was nah, it? Nah, eh? This year? No, it was last year. Was it last year already? Yeah, wow. it is last year. See? Oh, Damn. Okay. That's a while. That's it's been a while. A what while. you guys been doing, man? What have you been up to? <laughs> well, I broke my own personal record. Just saying. <laughs> it's such a stupid question. I love how Jin is asking me that question. <laughs> but he literally knows what I do every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So you fail. Well, you, you're different. What have, you up to? what have you been up to? I, I broke my personal record. For what? Record. Sleeping? No. Then? I built five keyboards in a week. Within this week. I saw. There were so many switches you had to how many? 400. Uh, 300. 70 times 5. That's 350. Can you oh say you're the God. queen of lubing? <laughs> you're the expert with lube. That's kind of weird, but. <laughs> <laughs> Did you wait? You started a keyboard business, right? Uh, not. Uh, I'm doing it personally. La. Like, so, yeah, like a, a keyboard answer, business. Answer, answer, yeah, answer. in a sense. Is that yeah. why you put like a, a down payment on like five properties lately? I wish I had <laughs> <laughs> That's how rumor starts. <laughs> now you see income tax gonna find Shufei already, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, so, hey, how's it been? Uh, like, did you make a lot of money from that keyboard business? Nah, it's okay. This one I'm building five uh, continuously is because I, I'm I'm doing a giveaway. Not me lah, but like someone hired me to build a keyboard for a giveaway. So that's oh, really? why I'm building it like, you know collectively so I can just pass everything over. Hey, is keyboard oh. like yeah. a very niche market or is a lot of people? It's getting it's more been, mainstream, it's I think. It's growing so... I mean, Jin, you can look at our office now. Yeah, everybody like, has a keyboard. percent of us got our own keyboards already. Yeah, like when I first bought a keyboard, I bought it because it looks cool. There, But then like these days, like the whole entire, almost the whole office, they all have each a, and their own their own very custom keyboard but it all sounds different and I'm like, whoa, until Shufei told me like, hey, come let me mod your keyboard. Let yeah. me mod my keyboard. You know what's funny? Every time an intern comes in, right, and I ask them, like, do you like keyboards? They're like, yeah. And then that's, like, the common topic that we have. Like, even, like, Sal Jason, right? Oh, really? Like, the first time he came in, like, we had no common topic. And then I was like, oh, you like keyboards? And he's like, yeah. Really? And then now we're, like, pretty close. Oh, yeah. oh. because of keyboards? keyboards? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, I guess you can say that he basically pressed the right key with you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, yeah. whoa. Choo, choo, it's called a switch on a keyboard, okay? Get oh, your, a switch. Get your facts, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, some keyboards can cost out 3,000 bucks, even 10,000 bucks. So eh. my friend just bought one and he, exactly right, 3,000 ringgit. But just the, the case alone uh, means no button, no keycap, nothing. You literally just get a metal box. The metal box is 3,000 bucks. Yeah. Yes. I have one too. What? Yeah. It's the same one she got. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why is it so expensive? Made it's out of like, gold, it's is it? Gold, it's like no, artisanal, la. La. you know, like it's a. Artisanal, yeah? Uh, yeah okay, okay, okay. Let me Think explain. Of it like the Yeezy, the Yeezy. Okay, of, okay, okay, let me explain. Okay, you know how your keyboard, right? Usually, like, it doesn't sound as good yeah. before. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, mod it, right? Yeah. So you have to put foam, everything, like tape and shit. So after you put only, it sounds good, right? So these expensive keyboards, basically, you don't have to put anything. You don't have to put foam. You can just build it without any foam, nothing, and it sounds good. Right? So it sounds good. Yeah. yeah. What happens if I use the keyboard while listening to music in my headphones? No. Then you listen to music. No, I, to <laughs> no I, need to, I need to talk to Jin in a language he understands. So he you bought this keyboard <laughs> in three... No, no, listen. I think you agree with me. He bought this keyboard for 3,000 ringgit. Ha, Jin he, bought one? No, no, no. Oh, no your my friend. friend. Oh, okay. He can sell it uh -huh. from anywhere from 6 to 10. Is that the Rama? Rama? No, 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 it's no. not. What the hell in God's name keyboard <laughs> is this? It's a Kohaku, Kohaku right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he can sell it for six, six to ten, right? It will be a going rate. Yeah, so yeah, he can yeah. sell it for 100% profit. Yeah. yeah. So are these keyboards... 100 to 200, huh? Mm. So are these keyboards easy to acquire? No. no. It's a raffle system. Exactly like the... I say like, like those... 
shoes that come out. Uh. Yeah, it's like shoes, like sneakers. Yeah. It's like freaking Yeezys all yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you have to raffle. Yeah. And yeah. if you get picked, only you can buy. Yeah. Yeah, one yeah. day, one and day you have to wait like six months to get your keyboard. Yeah, and I wait I wait for five years for them to drop the price like significantly. Yeezys are shit no, now. They, they won't drop price. <laughs> really? They won't. That's what they said with Yeezys too. Uh, true la, but yeah, I was like, oh, this is the la. first uh what the first edition of the Yeezys that I can't remember what it's called again. I, I think as long as there are people wanting it, then the price would never drop. Yeah. This is just Pretty all of much. them capitalizing on the fact that they know that they can build like unlimited supply but they refuse to because I, they know that no, it's actually no. very hard work yeah, like. yeah, yeah it's very hard work to build a board and the QC is on mm. another level like this is actual humans like like building these keyboards and like QCing yeah. everything it's a lot of like process that's touched mm. by actual human hand uh. that's I'm not, I'm not so gonna hard. lie because I think Ryan told me about Rama keyboards and he told me that if you bought it and you can resell it for like a double the price I actually bought one <laughs> But he hasn't. You still, still waiting for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I That's realized about Rama, right? Yeah. Yeah, like they have like really bad like fulfillment. Uh, like. So did they yeah. forget or are they slow? They're slow. 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 It's been two years. Yeah. yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Serious? Uh? Yeah. And I can't do anything. I can't sue that. It's like a freaking no. Kickstarter program it is, gone it is, wrong. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. In a sense, yeah. It is. Yeah. So these people ask you to prepay everything. In yeah. advance. Yeah. So that they can use that money to go and produce it. So when yeah. when the keyboard like What about all the profits? What about all the previous profits that they've made before? Don't, won't they use that to build a sustainable business without relying on people to uh-huh. upfront That's pay? That's what you would think so, but I don't know like, what happens behind the scenes. Uh-huh. But I think this is where like previously a lot of the keyboards were bought this way. They call it group buy, la. So you really yeah. Good buy. Group buy. Group buy. <laughs> group buy. Group buy. Yeah. But okay. why it became so popular like why how keyboards became so popular these days is that a lot of these group buys, uh-huh. they're getting lesser and lesser. Like uh, there are manufacturers out there that's making it easier for people to just yeah, for pay the on the spot, market. buy, and then get it. Yeah, like the like the white one that you modeled. Okay, for like me. for Keycon, right? Because they they are a big company, so they have the funds to mass produce yeah. these kind of keyboards. Yeah, whereas like I think in the custom keyboard scene, right, most of the companies they're yeah. not as big as like Keychron because they're not like commercialized, mm. right? Yeah. So obviously they need like funding first to then produce the keyboards. Yeah, but Keychron was once funded on Kickstarter. Yeah. And then after that they and got the first round of funding, and then after that they got the second round of funding, and after that they're self sustainable as a business already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rama hasn't sent me my keyboard. <laughs> First to go and add Rama. Where's I'm my keyboard? Tag Rama now. <laughs> I tell you, yeah. two hundred people with you gonna tag them also. Where's, Where's my keyboard? Yeah, yeah. I, like, yeah. I like how this topic is revolving around keyboards, and Ryan actually knows what to what to say. Yeah, because like when I, I started I've been keeping up. Yeah. yeah, when I started talking about keyboards, and Ryan was suddenly like, yeah, 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 this one, this one. I was like, one. oh, okay. So nice though. It's so nice though. Yeah. Now, next, <laughs> now you need to buy a Kohaku. No, I'm not. I'm not okay. Times one hundred profit. Eh. Oh. <laughs> that, that you hey, can sell it for double the price. But people buy because they want to keep it usually. Yeah, so you buy and then sell it to the people who want to keep it. What are you gonna do? Wear it on their <laughs> <laughs> What are you gonna do? Wear it on their wrist? Hey man, check it out, I got a keyboard. Hey, it's actually a very good keyboard. Like, I use it every day. I was I thought she was gonna say, Hey, it's actually a very good investment. Like. Oh, luckily you didn't say that. I mean What's it is like if you need cash, you just sell no! it. No! You know? Ryan, I refuse <laughs> to think that keyboards are a great investment. Why? Watches are a great investment. Okay, I yeah, I'm not gonna no doubt about that, but because there is a if you know the watch to buy, of course there are some watches that are not a good investment, uh, but but not all keyboards are great investments. I'm sorry, I can't say that, can I? Not all keyboard brands are great, right? Or is every keyboard brand great uh, considering the fact that you know how to mod your own keyboard? No, I would uh, say... Nah, not I would all say that. the modding is like 0% of your investment. Yeah. It's all personal. Really? Because it's like... The board itself that's okay, the investment. To be honest, right? If you buy a keyboard mm-hmm. and you open it up and tinker with it, right? Yep. You have no warranty already. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. All right. Because you're doing it under your own risk. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Hey, yesterday, me and Ryan, or oh, today we came in and Ryan and I kind of like, you know, we're stalking Shoe Face Insta stories and she's got all lovey-dovey. And she said that, you know, when you find the right person. <laughs> hey, that's in my close friend list, huh? Oh, oh you're exposing my close friend list. Oh, when you find... What is it? Oh, shit. <laughs> when you, when you, <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 sorry. Might yeah. be, might be. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Call. Do we continue with this or not? Yeah, I just say that, say that. Yeah, so like, you know, if you find the right one, you will always settle down and you you will always forego the going I don't, out. I don't think she used the word settle down, okay? Let's not get it's ahead. More, oh, sorry, sorry. Like, oh, you, I feel, you tend to isolate yourself. Yeah, you, you tend to... more fulfilled with Actually, you know what? Can you just repeat whatever you typed before we take you out of context? Yeah. <laughs> 
can't tell Paul my close friend is not exposed bro but it's interesting because I'm like oh okay, then okay. I replied I replied okay before she says what it is I replied her oh that's me and Michelle and she just seen she didn't even reply you know <laughs> I'm like what see by this person rude <laughs> okay so basically right I saw this TikTok and uh, is this boy like he just put his face like you know how TikTok is like so yep. he just put his face there and then he wrote like something on top so the text says um, when you find the right person you tend to isolate yourself from uh, like people that uh, what's the word that he used like people uh, like, be- like basically you tend to isolate yourself from like meaningless relationships or friendships that, oh. yeah that means all of a sudden like, all the little petty petty things doesn't matter anymore what matters is the both of you yeah, yeah. in a sense I- and I totally agree with that Mm. Okay, why do you say that's me and Michelle? Yeah, because when, when I started dating Michelle, we hardly... So before Michelle, I used to go out and get drunk every weekend uh, and, you know, party. Any opportunity at raves, I go, even though I don't know what the rave was. I've never I, then, then I found out that I've never actually officially gone to a rave before. Concerts, I'll go. I used to work in the entertainment industry, so there are a lot of parties. I'll go, 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 go. You go out, have fun with friends, meet new friends and stuff like that. But ever since when I started dating Michelle, everything stopped. But like you went for these kind of events because you want to hang out with those friends or it's just the experience that you feel like you're missing out on? The experience or the FOMO? Lah. Like, oh. you know, like, oh, um, Zed's in town. Oh my God, I'm going to watch Zed. Although you don't like Zed. Yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay, wait. I'm, okay, look, look. To save myself from that, after that, I I, I got a CD because, you know, I work in radio. So I, I just called, Univer- I can't remember which label Who it was. Who doesn't like Zed? Everyone Shit, loves. wait, wait. Then I then then, then I listen to my car and I said I'm good. That is damn good. The what whole entire album is like a seamless story yeah. and I was like so mesmerized. <laughs> that is so good. So good. The whole entire album is 45 minutes. So, it's like So technically it's not a bad thing, lah. No, it's not a bad thing. Not yeah, so how can you say that? No, I just well, I just didn't know who Zed was at that time. <laughs> I think like the point here is I thought like, Zed was that show that I saw. Lord Zed, you know? What the heck? What was Zed? <laughs> I can't remember what the show was, but yeah, so so I used to go this sort of thing. So even though that you don't know, you go because like everyone's going, so you don't want to left, get left out. Friends, family, and not, I won't say family. Friends, friends of friends, whoever, whatever, right? Then when Michelle came into the picture, we kind of like. I mean, I mean, obviously when we first started, we start we went for all these things, but we kind of eased out from that lifestyle and yeah. just preferred like you know a quiet weekend uh, at home doing nothing rather than hey wait should we go party yeah uh, I, I think I think mm. it's also an age thing. Yeah. No, it's not, yes, Ryan. Yes, yes. No, I was wait, 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 26 wait. years old when I dated yeah. Michelle. Yeah, no, like what I'm saying is like, okay, think back to college days. La. Yep. Okay, you just come out of high school. You, you're suddenly exposed to so many people who are not from your high school. New friends, you're going to make, you're going to hang out with everyone. You, you, you know, you're just the exploring stage of your life. La. Yeah. And then once you finish there, you come in, you start work and everything. Yeah, you still got a bit more freedom, but slowly, slowly, you, you realize like, okay, uh, you realize that your friend circle is getting smaller. It's not that you you, you want do, you it to want happen, it to. Right? It just naturally gets smaller, which I don't think is a bad thing, you know. No, it's not. Mm. Yeah, and you just find more fulfillment, especially if you have a partner already. Yeah, you know, you just realize that I don't need that many things outside. Oh yeah, you know, that's you just true. Yeah. You, that's why it tends to get lesser and lesser. And, and I agree with you. Sometimes it's just nice. Yeah, just stay home for the weekend with your partner and just don't do anything. Watch TV, girl, play or, or even, your partner, Or whatever, even la. if it's not staying at home, it's just going out with your partner. Yeah. Everything, yeah. Even mm. things like doing grocery shopping or running errands, you know, you're just hanging out with them. It's, it's like enough to keep you happy and to keep you fulfilled already rather than having to go out and like go and drink here and there. Of course, every now and then you want to go out and have drinks with your friends and all. Oh, but. Ryan, something's all grown <laughs> up. Oh, oh man. But, Getting old, man. <laughs> but I realise, right, some people, they don't like it though. Like, sometimes, you know, they say, oh, you have boyfriend, girlfriend already. Uh, that's why you don't come out with us. Like, they don't like it. Oh, I don't like that. Um, yeah. they, they, There's this term, I'm not sure whether this, sorry, uh, you know, I'm not sure whether I'll date myself by saying this term. I'm pretty sure you guys heard this term before. It's called Wai Hai Sei. No, I know Lupa Kawan. Oh, you know? You don't know? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Do you guys know what WH4 means? No? WH4? Yeah. Why hi say? Okay, it's, it's always a guy. It's always a bro thing. Like, you know, with a group of guy friends, right? And then when the fella doesn't come out, I was like, why? I've got girlfriend already. Why hi say? You know what I mean? It's because of girl. What's why hi? Uh, it's because of... In, it's What's because it of girl la. <laughs> oh, but what does it mean okay sorry I mean I'm sorry it sounds very crude but it's, it's you know it's like oh because got pussy uh, you know uh, then yeah. why? oh why why, why is what oh. uh, <laughs> why, why is it's because because of yeah, yeah. Oh. Why so okay so, so oh. the literal okay. meaning is that but the actual meaning is like oh because you got girl la, that's oh, why it don't come out uh, okay, you rather okay, spend okay. time with girl you know what I mean the kind of thing but like, is it wrong though 
it's not wrong lah. I think it's not wrong. I think this thing also like I'm pretty sure they say when when you're younger lah, you know, mm. college teenage uh, days, you're like, hey, got girl here lah. Then too cool for us already lah. Already no, but I friend. feel like some people, right, they tend to isolate from their friends because maybe they feel like, oh, my friends are not growing in the sense where like maybe he is pursuing something and he's like trying to like change his lifestyle but his friends are still stuck in that lifestyle so he doesn't want to like associate himself with them anymore. I feel like I have a lot of like friends who do that. Yeah, like, I, that's a yeah. different thing compared to getting a, a partner though. But that's maybe, like a completely different case altogether. Like if you realize mm-hmm. you're hanging out with people that's not a good influence on you. Yeah. Like some people do get a self-realization like oh shit I hang out with this guy actually he every week asks me go drink or uh, what not. Not good yeah, for me but like, for I example, go, right? I should distance myself a bit. Yeah, but for example, I have a friend, right? So maybe you he's... You my parents. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Like, okay, maybe his group of friends like always going clubbing or like trying to like, you know, flirt girls and stuff like that. Then he has a girlfriend, very stable relationship. Then maybe he feels like, oh, maybe hanging, hanging out with this group isn't like beneficial to me. Guys like, are not like, always flirting after girls all the time. Just saying like, you know, you it's know? tiring, you know, you think what? Turn on, go flirt with girl. You think? <laughs> hey, got, got groups like that one, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. But I think in my group of friends, the reason why we didn't like it was because when he breaks up with, when some guy mm. breaks up with a girl, then he comes all cry. We go out with drink with him and whatever not. We are there for him and whatever not. And then, you know, when, when, he, when he's got another girl, he just disappears. He's like, oh, what about us? You know, we're always giving that emotional... In between, su- in between don't have love. Yeah, it's like uh, we're giving you that emotional support when you're down. You know, we also need some emotional support, but it's a kind of like a, hey man, we, you give and take love. We don't expect you to give us emotional support just because we broke up with our girlfriends. It could be other things. Hey, uh, you know, I lost my job or a, hey, you know, I didn't get that pay, pay rise or yeah. hey man, I'm stressed out at work and stuff like that. So, I feel like... Uh, um, I just feel that every sex in terms of male, female should have their own group of friends that they go to apart from relationships. Everybody should have that separate uh, kind of like, like, okay, if, it's, if my partner is my partner, okay, done. But after that, it's like, oh, just me and my boy time because we can, there are things that- You we, have, right? I mean- Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. You guys yeah, all yeah, go yeah. on, right? you got yeah. the boys and then- your your partner will have like the girls or in yeah. your case, your, your boyfriend will have like the boys. And, 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 the, thing, and the thing is- we don't use we don't okay we don't meet as often as we used to when we were single and that's a given thing but the thing is we always still made a point to meet up every once in a while and see what's up you know and mm. we just do our guy things like play play go-kart or play no not golf uh, <laughs> <laughs> or, or you know go out, even if even if I when I hate car I don't, I'm not a car collector but my bunch of friends are uh, I just go there I'm always in the passenger seat you know, uh, I was, I'll always be sitting in the one who's probably like no got no girls because the rest are all filled with girls on the side, their partners or their wives. And you know, just do our own thing, lah, have fun, lah. Mm-hmm. But other than that, like, mm, I don't know where I'm going with this conversation. Yeah, but so in this case, like, do you feel like it brings back to the point that if you're in a healthy relationship, you tend to isolate yourself? From no, uh, from okay, yes, you do, yes, you do, yes. Um, Yes, you do. And okay, lah, sad to say this, uh, not to say that we're, you're putting more priority on the relationship and you're putting more comfort in mm-hmm. the relationship because you know why? You kind of achieve happiness. You're contented. You know? True. You are very happy. There's nothing you else you need out there that excites you. And you're just happy to just share every happiness, every sadness, every vulnerability with that partner of yours. Yeah. Okay. That, and that, that's why you don't, you feel like, uh, I don't have to go out so lah. But you know, you know, like if, if if like if it's not a like a special occasion, then you wouldn't go out like kind of thing, lah. Yeah, mm. but for you to completely isolate and really cover yourself out of the world, I wouldn't encourage that. Yeah, la. that's a bit unhealthy. unhealthy. Right? Yeah, yeah, ah, yeah. it's very unhealthy, lah. Ben, mm. because then you become too just in your own bubble, like that. Yeah, in your own bubble. Then then you you tend to not want to try things, or you tend not to want to listen to anybody else. Everything is only like, oh, you know, I gotta check my partner and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not 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 that it's bad, but you know, is everything is just between both of us and anything outside that circles. Like, oh, the one lah, we're just too lazy to entertain that kind of thing. Mm, I think for me, it's more like. I realized these past few months, right? It's like, it's not that I isolate myself from my friends, you know, I still talk to my friends and stuff. Yep. But I think like when it comes to like the more um dramatic side of things, like for example, right, I only realized like there have been drama going on like within like a few circles of my group that I didn't know about because I was like too busy to like care. Yeah. But like I'm in my bubble and then when I found out like the drama is already over. Ah. Or, like something has already happened. So when I found out, I was like, oh, well, I'm so glad I'm not like part of it because like, I'm just happily living in my own bubble, yeah. Actually, you're, you're right. Uh, mm-hmm. Once you've kind of like found the right one. No, now that you mentioned it, yeah. 
Me and Michelle just stay out of other people's drama. Yeah. We hear it from people, but we don't continue the conversation. It ends with us. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. True. I, I get what you mean. Like, you, mm. It's like just... Oh, it's such a bad word to say, but entertainment for yourself only. Like. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, do you hear about blah, 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 blah. But then it doesn't leave... It doesn't yeah. leave the confines between the two yeah, of you, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you don't champo tangan, you don't try to talk to this guy or, or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, I, and, I, and I like that, you know? We, we, we talk about it and then we analyse it amongst ourselves. The, the tea, the tea. Yeah, we spill the tea amongst ourselves. <laughs> well, I think you've been drama-free for years, eh? drama <laughs> he's free. been like with his girlfriend for like super long, eh? Six, seven years? Really? Eight years? Nine. Nine, nine, oh, nine, nine years. years. <laughs> yeah. Nine years. Yeah, nine bro. years drama free, bro. Oh wow. What? Just listening to no, people. No, right, we, we listen to people's drama. Exactly. <laughs> we we don't but we don't of course if it's our really close friend. The thing about my girlfriend and I, we mm. we have a, we are in the same group of friends. Yeah. 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 So a lot of her friends are my friends and and it's it's good in a way where like you know sometimes when you have a partner and then you go hang out with your friends and then you introduce them to your friends. Yeah. And like, and then sometimes it's a bit you you worry like oh would they gel would they would they get together and mm-hmm. also there's a lot of the drama that happened we we happens in our circle of friends also like we know everyone quite well like. yeah but generally like what Jin say you just you just talk about it among yourselves and then you don't catch other people la. unless they come to you specifically like hey can get some advice or whatnot mm-hmm. then then of course you help like, it's, it's, it's your friend in the end you know yeah. you still don't turn away hey no I don't want to get involved in your shit bro Go oh away. no sometimes when some yeah. some people come to me and tell me their drama right then I will politely say that you know what I wish I would not be a part of this conversation mm. yeah. I politely say that because like I don't want to especially especially with with his, with his within is always it is with regards to people you know sure. uh, I was like I don't like I'm happy with my life now I don't want you to change anything, what I think yeah about another friend of mine whom you know or whom we are mutually friends with, I'd rather just you leave it at that. You know mm. what I mean? If you have a problem with that person, you go fix it yourself. But honestly, kind of thing of it, I'm quite glad my my group of friends, right? No, no major drama. Actually, no drama. Actually, every group of friends got drama one. Maybe you just don't know. Yeah, you just don't know. Maybe I mean, no, no. Like, God, Allah, because you know why? It's just like, a group of friends, every, everybody when they first get, I feel that everybody when they're just acquaintances, they're a lot easier, easy going than when they're really close. The closer they get, right, the more drama they have because they're more, more colors they show. You, you get what yeah, I mean? The like more comfortable family, they uh, are. Like, yeah, because like, impossible, like you're in your household, you don't fight at all, right? Fight out, but like, exactly. Indian still family. Exactly, exactly. Like, exactly. Like so friends. friends is like that. So like, if acquaintances, like, you know, like, okay, I'll give you a very good example. Like, you know, Ryan, we, we work together for a lot of years. Yeah, yeah. I know when you're angry and I know when you say things, but the uh. thing is, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. take it to heart. And then you know how I react. You, we all know. Yeah. But if we're just acquaintances, you'd be like, hey, what, the, what the hell, what you like that one? You know what I mean? Then, yeah, then yeah. you start, you know, you have that. It, it, it's, I don't know, the closer you become, there's a higher chance that you you, ha- you will have drama, but you will let the drama happen because you understand your circle of friends. Yeah, but I haven't had any drama that so bad until mm. people don't talk to each other. I don't, I don't think that, mm, I don't think they'll be, all, yeah. I don't know. You guys got the kind of, where fight until uh, oh, these two people never not even talk together I've had people in the same group break up also but in the end still all okay right? oh really uh, yeah no la for me it's the only ones that don't talk or don't talk to us anymore is if any of my group of friends dated someone and then they broke up and the person gets out of the group you know what I mean uh, out of the group la, that's one yeah. thing la. yeah yeah hey, actually here's a good question to ask when you first date a person right how long should it be before you bring them into your group because you know it's always kind of I always had this friend who <laughs> brought different different partners into the group every now and then. <laughs> and then know, and then we're like every like every like first every, it was yeah every year we have to like oh hi we have to like juggle ourselves and not go all out you know even though we are also party you, you know, know the, it's the kind of thing like you know every year you and your friends let's say have a, a Chinese New Year gathering or a Christmas yeah. gathering and then that one guy every year come out with one different group. yeah <laughs> yeah I think I don't know eh. I feel like don't really have like a you know like a certain amount of time then you bring the girl that kind of thing okay. I think it can be any time though no? that's my next question when you guys take the group photo do you ask that girl to take the photo or do you oh. ask her to be in it <laughs> or do you do one of each <laughs> uh, oh, good question oh yeah yeah, it's always like that one, right? Oh like, my god, now that you mentioned it, I remember there was one point in time we all dug up all the old pictures of the, our, all our all gatherings <laughs> just to show this how many girls this guy has come with to these parties. 2070, 2080. Yeah. Hey, but I do have friends, right, that they, they don't involve their girlfriends in the group one, you know? Why? I have no idea. Maybe that he just feels like, oh, um, yeah, maybe this is my group of friends. So like... Yeah, she can have her own. So it's like a separate thing. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, I have this friend, right? 
his girlfriend uh, they've been together for years I think like almost like same time as him right like the girlfriend has never met his friends you know none of, of his friends at all yeah oh. so like, right <laughs> okay is, is, are there any instances where this girl hangs out with a certain bunch of friends a certain group because you know all of us we have different different friends right like I've got cycling group Chewa, now cycling yeah. group. Then, then I have work group. Then I have like college group. Then I have primary school group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm pretty sure your friend has got like different. No. no. But like when I asked him, he said, oh, my friend, uh, my girlfriend knows the existence of my friends. Like yep. I would tell her like things that are happening and stuff, but like she has never met them. It's kind of weird, right? I feel like it's kind of weird, but it's normal for him. So I'm like, okay. No, but what's his uh, explanation to not uh, introducing his girlfriend or bringing his girlfriend out together with his friends? I have no idea. Are they all boys? I think so, yeah. Oh, you mean there's no partners there and, and whatever? I, I have no idea, actually. I never really, like, you know... Like, I'll never ever church. bring Michelle out to meet my cycling friends. Why not? Why not? Yeah, because she doesn't have Because she doesn't have a bike. What? <laughs> no, okay, okay, no, okay. I, I understand because every time you meet a cycling friend is when you guys cycle. cycle yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't... I don't, yeah. I don't... I don't... I don't meet the cycling friends apart from cycling. Yeah. <laughs> but if I were to go out with them to Yamcha and everything, I wouldn't bring Michelle. I'm Why not, not. I wouldn't actively not because I know she'll be bored. Really yeah, that's man? one thing though because they're going to be talking about cycling, cycling, cycling. Yeah. And then Michelle's going to be there like, okay, oh, she should be like, I got two yeah. kids. I got two kids at home wanting my attention. You bring me out to listen to you talk about wheels and tubes and, and top tubes and, 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 and pedals and whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But like I I feel like maybe it's depending on the dynamics of the relationship. Because like, some people like they feel nicer if they were involved uh, in like their partner's like oh. social life. You know, me and Michelle don't force each other to l- actively like what we like, just so Not that she can. Not actively like lah, but like just invite lor. Like, hey, I'm gonna eat with them. You wanna come? You know that kind of thing. For Michelle le, when I first dated her, uh, it was okay. It's so funny lah because when I first before we even dated, right? She's already met my group of friends. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. And then my group of friends started calling her and I said, "Hey, Tiba, you all lah." <laughs> 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 Stay away. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so uh, the, uh, she also already knows my friends before I even started dating her. But it was a while uh, because me and her, we, uh, because back then I was already, uh, I was actually dating somebody else. So I met Michelle at work. So I brought her to meet my bunch of friends because, uh, you know, there were some single dogs over there. Uh, <laughs> sing, sing, sorry, single men, eligible men over there. Uh, so that's why she knew them first. So I uh, then, um, when we got together, Oh, uh, she would actively actually Michelle was great because she would actively because when I got very busy right she would actively plan activities with my college mates to remind myself hey go and hang out with your friends Aww. and then she made friends with all of my friends uh, girlfriends now wives and she also goes out with them mm. without mm. me to yeah, go yeah. gossip about their husbands and say their husbands are yeah. shit no lah kidding <laughs> It's the girl talk. Yeah, it's the girl it's talk. It's the la. girl talk. And also she has her group of friends which, with high school mates that I will follow. But like I will follow for no apparent agenda. I'll just go there, have fun, small talk. So I can say that me and Michelle are quite easy going. Ah. Okay, like what what about like vacation? Okay, so uh, for context, right? So yep. my parents, right? Very funny one. So like sometimes my mom, right? She will plan a vacation with her friends. Uh-huh. And then my dad will get like a bit jealous. I'll say, why you not bring me? You know, oh. that kind of feeling. Then my mom was like, huh? Just my friends, what? Like you're not, you're not part of my group. Like why should I bring you? Yeah. So cute like your parents. Yeah, so- but like for you as a couple, do you feel like you have to go on vacation together all the time? Hmm. I think it depends ah. on the occasion. Ah. I've, it depends. I mean, like I can understand your your mom's point of view. She's going with all her auntie friends, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. like there's guys also la. Oh, so maybe like my dad. Okay, la, dad. So if Michelle were to go on a holiday with all girls, I won't go. Okay, what if they're guys? But then like, I'll, then then. But, but she'll tell you like, oh, but we are a friend group, like, but you're not part of our group, <laughs> because that's what my mom said. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but for my dad, I think it's different because wherever he goes, right, with whoever, he always like her. consider my mom. Yeah. So same with Michelle. Like, they go as a pair, you know. Yeah. Same with Michelle. So mm. if 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 she were to go out for a holiday with a bunch of friends and her their husbands are going, then she'll say, hey, "You want to come along?" She'll ask. It, it's an option. So if I say no, it's no problem. If I say yes, it's it's fine. Yeah. Same with me too. If I were to go out uh, for a guy's holiday to some other country and ask her, you want to come along? She's like, no, I'm just going to come in between what you guys want to do. But have you guys ever done that? Have you went on a trip without her? Yeah. Oh, really? Where? <laughs> not work. Ah. No, not, not work. work. Yeah, not, not work. work. Not work. Oh. God, yes, I have been with a bunch of friends. We've gone to Bali. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, she's gone to Phuket. Uh, and she's gone to Phuket, Bali. Phuket for... But it's like guys trip. No, girls hers is trip. girls trip. Yeah, yeah. yeah yours guys hers trip, is uh. like hands night. Uh, uh, hands night. That's different, ma. Same thing, lah. No, it's no, still no. a what trip. If, yeah, it's still but a trip, what if like, it's a trip, mix girls and like, guys? Like, I, if okay. she goes for a hands night, if I'm really possessive, right, I'll say, yeah, come along, but you girls go do your hands night thing. I'll stay at the villa and I won't catch you, but at least I'm in the country. But the only reason why I'll do that is just in case anything happens, I'm there to yeah. sort things out. Mm. Yeah. That's the only reason. It's not because I want to... I, I can also imagine, like, let's say, for example, you and your cycling friends, hey, let's go to Langkawi and cycle. I doubt Michelle, unless, okay, like, maybe she will go, but then she'll do the same thing. Just stay in a hotel the whole time, enjoy the hotel while the, these fellas go and cycle around the world. Mm. Well, it's, it's, you know it's, that kind of thing? It's very different when you have kids though because if I were to tell her that, she'd be like, oh, what's there to do Langkawi? Then she'll go probably research. She's like, okay, while you go cycling, I'll bring the kids to do this. Ah, uh, yeah. And then once you're done, and then we'll- At night, at yeah. night you can spend time. Okay, so it's very different. Okay, yeah. okay, what about solo trips? Will you let Michelle go on? Let's say she just tell you like, oh, I want to go on a solo trip. Will you feel like, why don't you bring me? Why can't we go as a couple? Like, will you feel that? Oh. I think in his case, right, very hard to say because they have kids now, you know. Okay, okay. Kids take away the kids. Kids take out away, of the like, like, Let's say you're all like, yeah, yeah. yeah before, no kids, before you had haven't kids married yet or kids, something uh. like that, yeah. Basically, it's just the two of you. No, I'll not, I'll not allow her to go alone. <laughs> Why not? Because I'm scared. La. She very easy to get, get lost. lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There was one time Michelle called me. It was so lost. funny, you know, with the last few percentage of her battery, she decided to waste it on me. Hi, my phone no ba- <laughs> <laughs> Where was she? KL. Oh god. She's like, yeah. She uh, my phone no. Ba-. I was like, okay. Uh, how to find? So I was like, I was how like waiting. Find? What do you expect her to do? Huh? Charge her phone? Where? I don't know because because she has this habit of not charging her phone. One. <laughs> Serious. Always. Uh, you know. All of. I'm sure all of you know this. She, oh, she always in the office. Ah, oh, yeah. My phone no battery. Anyone got charger? Charge her. She doesn't charge her phone. One. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. And she she her sense of direction is not good. She always relies on GPS. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, there's no battery. No GPS. So I just sit low. <laughs> and I sit in the living room for like at least two hours and then she finally come back. So how? I just kept going in circles following the signboards until I found a signboard that was familiar. I was like, wow, it took you two hours. Huh? <laughs> yeah, so that's why for me is I'll never let her... If she says she wants to go on a solo trip, right? If she did that, I would think that, oh, is there something wrong with us? Mm. Yeah, I would think that. Mm. Yeah, but sometimes maybe... You know, people say like, oh, solo trip is like something that you have to experience in your life, you know. Really? Yeah, but I, I haven't been on a solo trip. I've been on a solo trip, uh, but it's for, mm. but it's mainly for work. Most of, mm. actually, most of the time, because, because in my line of work, like, okay, uh, entertainment, they send me around the world to inter- interview people. Mm. So, I've yeah. done, so I've done a lot, because of budget constraints, uh, they always send one person yeah, yeah. to do multiple stations jobs. So as a radio announcer last time, I would go interview somebody maybe in Ireland, but I'll do it for hits, for mix, and for light FM and for era FM. So they'll they'll always send one representative. It's not only me, but they will shuffle amongst uh, mm-hmm. radio announcers. And most of the time, um, I would extend my stay for maybe two three days, and I'll travel alone. Yeah. So I have done it before, um, and it's. It's actually very. I like it. I understand why I'm not. You have never done it before, right? Twenty four hours a day for three days. I was constantly lost. <laughs> really, but it's not a. It's not a, bad. It's not. I'm afraid. I'm lost. What's gonna happen to me? I've been lost until like two a.m., one a.m., and I'm not yeah. back yet. But I, I still my phone still charged now. Okay. Um. Don't know what to do. Don't know how to take the subway, especially when you go to Korea and Japan. Everything's a freaking translation uh, problem. But I know that for a fact that every time I walked into one corner or walked to one corner and then I end up in a place that looks amazing. So it's like, it's, it's just encourages like, just you to explore. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Mm. You will like, wow. And you don't have to, one thing about solo travel is nice that you don't have to consider other people. Yeah, yeah. true, true, true. You Have you been? What you, not exactly as a solo travel. I traveled solo la, uh. across the States. But only because I had to go pick up my girlfriend half across <laughs> the country. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I feel like stop. I want to stop. La. I feel yeah. like going mm. this place, I go this place. La, you know, like you want to take your time here, you take your time here. True, la. true. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like in a group, you always have to accommodate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's right. always some give and take between yeah, people, true, you true, know. True. Like, but you see, back then I traveled when there was no Instagram, there was no Facebook, there was no stories, you know, no Snapchat, nothing. It's just you. It was just me and my DSLR camera. Yeah. So whatever pictures I took, whatever, whatever videos I recorded, it was for me. It's definitely glorified true, true. these days. Like, yeah, it is. Yeah. But but I'm very grateful for this era la, because without ways, I'll probably die, dude. Yeah. You know, I don't even know what LDP and MPE all. I just know the, the road. I don't know like what MPE road is. Eh, I still can vividly <laughs> remember 
my mom teaching me how to drive to pavilion when I first got my license. Mm. Oh, yeah. I got no way. GPS man at that time. That time no. Huh? But I got, but like it's not good enough yet. Ah. Like. It wasn't like at the at the level where it is today, lah. Like. Wait, how old are you? How old are you now? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. So ten years you, ago, you got ten years ago, ah. Ten years ago, ah. Ten years ago. Ah. Ten years ago ah. How eighteen the ways, man? Don't have. Don't have. Eh? Don't have. It was Did very they? bad. It was very bad. It was terrible. And oh, is it? It was yeah. the initial In, like yeah. It was oh. the initial uh only invited people can go on ways. And at that time oh. also, my phone was what. No, oh, like the iPhone old phone. four. That time iPhone four the maps where where got so good also. It got what? Oh yeah yeah. And yeah, then the iPhone's maps. maps. Uh, iPhone's maps. No Google yeah. map. Uh, iPhone map. Google uh. Google maps. Google yeah. didn't really partner up with Apple yet yeah, at that point yeah. of time. True, true, yeah. true. So I remember vividly. You go here. You take the tunnel and then the tunnel. Make sure you keep right. Ah, uh, that one you keep right. And then you come out. Yeah, I literally had to remember. So like that's yeah. the only place in KR I can go to now without using. Yeah, Google legit, maps. legit. You know, sometimes <laughs> everywhere I else in KR, I need yeah, to use yeah, Google yeah. Maps. Like I memorize directions, right? Then I know how to go without ways already. Yeah, some places lah. Then people ask me, oh, you use what road? MPE, LDP, or oh, what? And now NKVE are ah, like, I don't freaking know, man. I just use this <laughs> the, road, bro. The one in my head. Yeah, it's the one. It's, it, yeah, but I, I don't know about road. you, but like your your mom or dad, right? Do they know? Do they do the thing like, hey, this one shortcut, this one shortcut? Yes! They hate all shortcut one, you know? Yeah, 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 because yeah. Because they've been driving so long without maps and everything. In their head, it's all shortcuts one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <gasps> it's my super always, hilarious. Ah, ah, turn right here, turn right here. And my dad, he always tell me, ah, like, five meters before the turn, he turn, turn, turn. I'm like, ah, that. Oh, shortcut, shortcut, <laughs> same, shortcut. Same, same. Oh my god, it just happened like, a few days ago. I went to watch a movie at 1U. Then, like, my dad uh, tell me, why you follow waste? Go this side. Yes. You have to make one big U turn. Go the other side. This one faster, <laughs> ah, like. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny. I, yeah, now I look at the waist, right? The waist will like recalibrate, recalibrate. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so funny oh, because. Shortcut, shortcut. Oh man. I, uh, my mom doesn't do it, but my mother in law does. I'm sorry, mom. Uh, <laughs> it's like we pick the family up and then I will always drive. Then I'll drive five minutes of silence. Hey, I know a shortcut. Know. <laughs> and then Michelle will be laughing. Everybody will be like, Ma, I don't need love. We got this. Allah. No, but I know a faster one. And then when we reach the destination at a specific time, She's like, huh, I think with my shortcut, we could have arrived faster. <laughs> and I was like, so dumb. I'm like, do I trust Waze or do I trust? Okay, so <laughs> depends on the location, I feel. Yeah. Because let's say like it's an area that they know so well, they probably know the traffic tendencies better than Waze. Yeah, true. true. Yeah. Like for my house, right? There's so many ways to enter my house mm-hmm. that at any given time, I know which is the best way without having ways to tell me. Because you know, la, you know this at this time, this traffic light going to be damn jammed. This traffic light going to be less jammed. Yeah. Especially when it comes to an area that you live in. Uh. Well, but I don't know about me. I always feel like Waze. I trust Waze the most. <laughs> no, it's not, no, okay. So, so the Waze and Google Maps and GPS has literally put the auntie out of a job for a direction. Yeah. <laughs> for a direction navigator because they will be the one sitting in front. And my father-in-law was like that. So he would drive and then the, the, the what do you call it? The, uh, 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 I mean, my mother-in-law will be the n- direction. La, or it's either or. And last time, I, <laughs> I used to drive and Michelle used to be the one. This one, really, uh, her direction is so bad, right? Or her attention span is so short, I also cannot one. Even though uh, the GPS, how, how advanced is so, right? I'll be driving, driving halfway. I'll be like, hey, where do I go here? All right, I see a fault. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 oh no, you're supposed to turn uh, left back there. I'm like, <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> what do you tell me? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But I have to ask, right? Because I never asked my parents this question, you know? Yep. So back then, right, when you guys don't have ways and stuff, how do you navigate? Map, oh. Road sign, oh. Really, man. But what if you want to find a specific store? How do you find it? Yellow pages. We don't go to stores. No, that's why every stores come to us. Everything no, kidding. back then, I feel it's like yeah. How? How do you even? All by word of mouth. Think. All by word of mouth. One. Oh, Is it? Yeah. So oh. they will use landmarks. Yeah, one. that's why I always wonder like, how did they find a specific place when there's no way? It's like the map is so freaking like. You know, it's not even like zoomed in, right? It's like you know, just a piece of paper with like the road. Like, how do you find? So. Mm. I, <laughs> I, I, I remember know, using I maps last time uh, like a physical map uh, when we go on holidays and stuff like that yeah but like how do you like find a specific that, place you open the map but the map is like it's not zoomed in right it's not like particularly like you can oh, see every shot oh you're sounding like a kid now yeah it's not it's literally yeah. a map that opens up yeah so like, how do you find a specific place what do you expect to do pinch your fingers <laughs> into the piece of paper and then the map yeah, will yeah, enlarge yeah that's what I'm saying no, like how you, do you okay, find okay, a okay, place okay. you open your map Okay, yeah. and then you agak agak know the city already. You know yeah. the city. You, so you go to the city, then you got the address, right? You find the road. You find the road, and then you can pinpoint agak where the number of yeah. the house is. Yes. Once you do that, you find the location. 
You backtrack. You, you backtrack to where you are coming and from. And this is where uh the ratio, the, you know the the ratio on the bottom of the map, the zero to one hundred. Uh, to shows you how far it is. Or uh, shows you the ratio of like one cm equals to one kilometer. Yeah. I think you have to learn that properly. Yeah. Then you know your how many kilometers away from what. But I think to be honest, right before GPS was even, because I think the first time GPS was actually present in some sort of way was during the BlackBerry. But then Bella is always refreshing pages one. <laughs> Everything is by memory. So yeah. when I was younger, right, my I didn't really drive to that many places. I drove to college. Uh, I drove to my ex girlfriend's house. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> no, I, I was. I remember when we were holidaying in Melbourne, long time ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother just went there for college. So my dad took a whole family there. Kevin sat down and then soon pian, uh holiday la. Every night, then because sometimes you wanted yeah stay in the city stuff not so bad. But then you wanted to drive down to what's that island, the Penguin Philip Island. Uh, Philip Island, right? yeah. So the night before, take out the map. Right, right, find, find me this place. And then me and my brothers were like, oh, who can find faster? And then we find, ah, here. And then they take the highlighter. You highlight the road all the way to where you are now. Next day, only start drive. Uh, you, know, you actually have to prepare beforehand. Yeah. And then, ah, uh, okay, I remember. Okay, so when I was in Malaysia, we just, everything is by memory. That's why I'm very bad with like, uh, yeah, there's so many things. I don't, you know, when I was younger, I never look at road, what road and whatever, not and not. Mm. I just everything is by memory, and yeah. my mom was also like that. So actually, where I went or the normal places or the very common places I went to, right, is wherever my mom used to drive to, and I because I'm the passenger and the kid, ma, right. I always say that I'm I I just memorize, memorize. Right. Yeah. that route. That road she travels so often or wherever she goes to so often, right. I just remember. Oh, this is sort of like where we are going to. I I do feel that it's a crutch now to a bit of a crutch now to have Google Maps and everything. What? Yeah. Because the moment you don't have it. Oh yeah. It's so because hard. now now these days, right. When I realize this also when we drive, uh, in like especially for me, especially in KL, like, I yep. rely on Google Maps so much. The moment I don't have it, I'll be like, "Yo, where do I go now?" Yeah. Even though I've driven that road like five, six times in my life, you don't, you don't, you don't, don't drive with memory, man. Not when I okay, if I took away your phone today, will you be able to drive home? You, I'm sure home, you'll be able to drive okay. home. Home, home, and office. Say so from okay. here to, to okay, from here to KL Pavilion. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to drive to Pavilion. Here to Pavilion, okay. Yeah. So let's say the other day we were shooting in uh the the Changkat there. Yeah. Oh, not, uh, not so Changkat, Duta, Duta, the hill there. Duta ah, hill, ah, okay, yeah, 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 okay. So. When we shoot, we go there a few times, ma. We go yep. to Recky and everything, right? Even like if you ask me to go now without Google Maps, uh, I oh yeah, I I'll probably know. get lost a bit. We Even will go. Uh, so like so okay. Times I think Malaysians or us lah, okay. Before Google Maps, we knew how to drive to landmarks. Landmarks, yeah, it's yeah, easy because yeah. it's it's always the the main highway, the main roads to be all the jalan belakang. All we couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, don't talk about landmarks all lah, okay? Even in the mall lah, I find it so hard to <laughs> navigate <laughs> myself, bro. You know, I've been to somewhere pyramid since I was like 13 years old, right? Until now, sometimes I still get lost, dude. Shoot, it's just a square. It's just a square. No, but now I, I feel like it's better, but like, if you ask me like 10 years ago, maybe I was like 18, okay. right? There's, oh, there's tell one you. mall I would say is the most confusing mall out there. Oh, yeah. Publica. Oh, what you so not so confusing? Publica very really confusing. Publica man. is so confusing. Isn't Publica like just one rectangular okay. block? <laughs> no, there's like two sides and they look exactly the same. No, and I, then I the mean, oh, you mean you're talking about the shop lots, is it? Yeah, Publica. Oh yeah, be la. Cause there's it's some so like confusing. facing the road. There's some and then got two here. floor la, and Then the floor is like unaligned one la. Like one is high. Oh but my I feel God. like we don't go there. Go there Enough as much. La. Yeah, maybe that's why. Okay, yeah. Hey, so what? What? What's the best and the worst mall for you guys? Uh. I'm curious. Sunway is definitely a top tier mall. Okay, I, I feel like okay are we doing like a mall tier list? How do we get to a <laughs> yeah, mall tier yeah. list? <laughs> mall, mall tier list, uh, okay? Okay, S, you have to S like... Tier mall, yeah, you have to S consider mall. like the, the shops that they have mm-hmm. and how easy is it to like go around it, I would the say, parking. I would say everything. Pyramid and One U is definitely S tier mall. Mm. Are you ready? S tier more. Whatever you need, they have it there. It's an S tier more. It's an S tier more. But I hate one you cause not hate, but like Parking. Uh, parking is one, but like it's so hard to I don't even know old wing and new wing is what? No, like it's like two different places, right? No, I know. You're, I'm you're a Subang kid, so you seldom go one use. So. Hey, no, I know. I'm a Subang kid, so I was a Subang kid. And I one use like the new wing is more atas, la, the old wing is more. Yeah, but it's so hard la. to find <laughs> it. Huh? It's so hard to find you it. You always I always know that the TGV is call. at the is at the junction of the old and new wing. The TGV, TGV is, is always at the old, old yeah, the the, the 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 start of the, the bridge to the new wing. Yeah. Yeah, but no more. Is it still no more? Yeah, yeah, it's still there. It's still there. No, but now it's different. Now it's upstairs. Upstairs, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but I would say pyramid. Pyramid is definitely S tier mall, la. Yeah, yeah. But I find it confusing though. S-tier you know, like one Otama has got TGV and GSC. Yeah, it's like why? 
True. Another S tier more, I would say. My my favorite is Pyramid and Mid Valley. I think one use probably like B tier, hmm. just because like of the parking. Oh, hey, really? Not even A tier, straight to B tier. Yeah lah. Ayo, I'm th- ayo, I'm thinking which mall do I like ah? Uh? I don't go to malls a lot <laughs> these days. The one nearest to your house. Yeah, yeah, really. Honestly, it is. It do be like that though. Like mm. the mall nearest to your house is the one you go to the most often. Yeah, so, the one I went to closest to me for the longest time is Empire Shopping Mall. It's not the greatest mall. Oh, Empire is. It's okay. Uh, it's not good, but it's just convenient because there's giant grocer there. Yeah, the grocer. Then Subang Prey was just nice to go there and eat Kenny Rogers and then McDonald's, but if I wanted to go and hang out. I would rather I'll go to Mid Valley yeah, Actually Mid Valley is pretty nice. cool. Valley, I like Mid Valley. Because Mid Valley got gardens, they yeah. got things there. Yeah. Mid Valley is a good mall. If, if we were gonna hang out with a bunch of friends, right? I always go out to the places that's got very nice cinemas. One Otama, Mid Valley, those two. Yeah, more, yeah, actually to me, for me, one Otama, Mid Valley, and then, then only Sunday Pyramid. Do you guys go hang out at KLCC at all? No. no. It's too far, right? It's too far it's too, too expensive. Too far, yeah, yeah, and it's too jammed, dude. Yeah. So for anyone who is not a tourist, uh, who is a tourist coming to Malaysia, don't go KLCC, man. No, but they need to. Just they they to need to. They want to see the. Oh, I want to see the Twin Towers. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I if I go to when I go to KLCC, I feel like a foreigner there because everybody don't look like Malaysians. They're all foreigners. I prefer Pevi over KLCC. Pevi. I don't really go Pevi. Eh. Pevi is not. Yeah. Pevi. I nicer. prefer Pevi is nicer than yeah. uh, KLCC. That's for sure. Have you guys been to the new one? What? Bukit Jalil. Bukit Jalil one. It's okay, Huge. but the time I went, but it's right, not a lot of things open. Uh, yeah, here, like. Yeah, not a lot. But more. it's huge, man. I went there because only because we had to bring the kids to the baby shark uh, convention. <laughs> <laughs> convention, okay? Yeah, there was a whole entire playground built after Ping Fong's baby shark. Oh god! Mm-hmm. Then uh, the second time we went, it's because uh, yeah, we just yeah, actually very nice. But you guys big. like people go to malls often. Mm. Who us? Uh, kinda yeah. like when I need something, I'll go lah. But Pyramid you just go to like, Kai Kai, like just go to walk walk. Okay, okay. Sometimes, okay. sometimes, sometimes. You, I don't. I, you don't. You don't bring your family there. No? no, I, I, um, I rather. Okay, if I, 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 I think the the older I become, I rather go to. If I want to eat, I go to cafes. If I need to get groceries, I just go to a neighborhood mall. Mm. Uh, but if I will go to a big mall like Mid Valley and whatever, it's got probably a a reason behind it to why I'm there. Like to get something. Uh. No, not even to get something. To shop also like uh. I'll go to Uniqlo or you know <laughs> neighborhood malls yeah, also got yeah. that already. I will go to Mid Valley because maybe I'm meeting someone. Um, is it a business meeting or there's an event? Mm-hmm. I, otherwise, like you know, I've not been to Mid Valley for the past this whole year. I've not been to Mid Valley. I think I've been to we Mid Valley went, the most. We went, eh. I think we went to watch a movie one time. I don't know if you went. Oh, the Shazam premiere. Oh, that is yeah. Mid Valley. Yeah, that was Mid Valley. How nice, you guys! Must yeah. be awesome not having kids. <laughs> 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 no, but I feel like I've been to Mid Valley the most this year because like where I live with my boyfriend, right? It's literally five minutes away from Mid Valley. Right, oh. right. Yeah, so it's that's five your that's away. your neighborhood mall, right? Yeah, yeah it's but it's, down the road. Right? Yeah, and it's like so much nearer than where I'm staying here to Samui Pyramid. And I used to go to Samui Pyramid a lot. It's so awesome, right? If you are you live next to next near a mall like Mid Valley, it's mm. just awesome. Yeah, dude. I can't yeah. wait. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you do. Oh, yeah. you're, you're moving nearby there. No, Bukit uh, Pavi, Bukit uh, 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 I saw, I saw so his, uh, I saw his house. It's like very funky. Fun- what do you mean funky? funky? I don't know what you mean. Funky. I don't know a lot of colors. A lot of color, eh? it Yeah, like white. No, was it? I thought it was pink. <laughs> no, no, uh. dude, you're looking at the wrong house, uh. No, the day you sent me what your oh photos shit, my in my unit itself uh. ah yeah 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 there's yeah, certain yeah. Uh, okay I won't say pink sorry uh, some artsy corners yeah yeah and I'm we like we try we try we try I was like oh look in, at that. in our head look nice uh, but come out we need to see the full picture then we can decide <laughs> la. when are you wait when are you moving in again uh, hopefully by this month hopefully hopefully this it's so funny you know he's like oh you know hey Jin just a heads up this month this day this date I might moving in I was like why oh choose date. It's such a, it's such a. Your mom, yeah, my mom want me to do this kind of thing, lah. Have when you, okay, you, at the current place you're staying at, you, I think you bought the place, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, did you? Not, not fully, lah. Me and my parents pay, lah. Yeah. So did you? Was there like a moving in ceremony that you have to go through? Oh no, lah. Did what you have to put in some ceremony? charcoal and then uh, sacrifice like a chicken no, no, on no. the front door? Uh, I'm kidding, not sacrifice. You <laughs> no. didn't, you didn't like swan roots, uh, like count this date, good date, on, very on date to move in. Uh, oh, uh, okay, the, okay. So the thing is, right, with that unit, right? At first, when we bought it, we wanted to use it to rent uh-huh. out as Airbnb. Uh-huh. Yeah, but over time, my mom was just like, oh, it's actually a very really nice place. Why don't we stay for a while? And then now it's just like some place we stay. In. Oh, wait. So yeah. who stays there now? Uh, Usually me okay. and my boyfriend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, your parents don't lah? 
Uh, sometimes lah. <laughs> I like how yeah, they, they the mother it. suggested, why don't we stay there? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll stay there with my boyfriend. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, but they treat it like a holiday home. So like a last weekend time, home. Yeah, so last year, they were like, always go like during the weekends and stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, but then now, I think, because my parents... um. Okay, so one thing, right, because we don't have a computer there back in the day, like oh. last year. So my mom, like, you know, she likes to watch her shows and stuff on her computer. So, like, she mm. would, like, just stay at home rather than going to that house. Why? That apartment. Why don't you guys PC, put, a, put a PC there for Yeah, her, so la. now that, because my boyfriend uh, stayed with me, right, but now he's not here. La. So uh, when he was staying with me, we actually put a computer there. So now she can use your boyfriend's computer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. Why does your mom watch her stuff on a computer? Why not on TV? I think because some shows you cannot find on... They stream. Uh, yeah, they stream. The, lah. You the must Chinese not have a smart TV. The China we box. Don't, we on, have Astro. The you China have Astro. Astro? Yeah, we have Astro. My mom doesn't You're like You're a rare breed. I don't Which really prehistoric era are you from? Huh, you also have Astro. No, no. I don't. The way you watch all your football stuff. I don't like. watch football. Oh, then... No, okay, I just, like, okay, I, 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 I'm half Astro. Like, I have Suka. Which is like uh, a branch of Astro. You know how like Maxis got uh what what's the under Maxis Hotling is it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So it's like you can think of it that way like It's a it's a subsidiary under Astro oh. Oh. I only use it. It's only online, so I just use it. To watch I, I think the only reason why we have Astro is because of my dad. Yeah, yeah, watch yeah. Football. But but when you get Astro, when you subscribe to Astro, right, you get Disney Hotstar. So. I got so Disney I, Hotstar on my phone. Yeah, so I watch Disney Hotstar on my my computer. Oh. Yeah, because it's like, I don't know, it's like a free account or something. Linked yeah, under yeah, my yeah, 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 they, yeah. They're trying to get why some would you, deals Why would you watch something on your computer? I don't like watching stuff on the computer. Because I'm always at my computer. And my dad's always watching TV. So is, I don't wanna, okay, like, so this is, I, I, I fully understand Shufei's situation. I always watch things on my computer because my mom's using the TV. Yeah. Oh. So... That's why I can't wait to go to my new place so I can watch things on the TV. <laughs> We're about to shoot a commercial for a TV, man. <laughs> we can't be saying stuff like that. No, 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 no. My, my t- my, I got new TV. Yeah. What do you TV. use your TV for? Oh my God, I can't believe I'm asking this. I don't. My mom uses it. Yep. Oh, no, you can't say that. <laughs> it's not my TV. No it's la, her TV. Yeah, it's, if it's like a family home, then obviously yeah, you will TV. let your parents use the TV because that's what they like, right? Yeah. But if you have your own home, then obviously you use the TV. Because the thing TV is, if, if I use the TV, mm-hmm. then my mom got not, nothing really watched on the phone now. Wait till but you have kids. It becomes the kids' uh, it's TV. It's the kids' TV then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but me and my boyfriend has this. I don't know. Is it a bad habit or what? So we will only use the TV, right? when we are eating lunch or dinner like yeah we won't eat at the dining table we will bring it to the TV and then we eat and then oh, we like, oh that's oh, nice I, I love that no it, like, I think it it's a bad, bad habit? habit I is think it? it's a bad habit for me is it okay no? daddy Ryan no of course okay when you're eating yeah this is a family time no like it's we a communal are bonding over no, the show. It's, it's communal thing <laughs> la, you know like if you already you're watching TV understand, so much, understand. yeah understand. you know eating just talk to each other a bit la, you know yeah that no, will happen that will happen Ryan that will happen yeah, when, we- when you have kids <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this was <laughs> no TV during dinner time. <laughs> yeah, mm, no, actually, no, actually, me, uh, Michelle, all sit down TV. We were on a TV as like a side, a side eye kind of view kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll put a cartoon on, and then we'll just watch together with the kids, and we'll eat. Oh, yeah, okay. I know it's bad. Know. Some people would judge us for for yeah, that. Yeah, like is it okay? Because I feel like. I don't know. I think it's the only time we will use the TV and it's like fun because like when we're eating, we're watching it, we can talk. I like, I, I, yeah, I, I like it. Last time me and Michelle we were dating, right? When we first moved into our place, we always had dinner in the living room mm. and TV. Then we'll just put on a show and we will, we will, we will, <laughs> she'll be angry at me because of the amount of time that she decides what she wants to watch, I already finished this my plate of food. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, to eat one meal is like, what, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour, man? Uh, about eight yeah, minutes yeah, for yeah. me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you can watch like an episode of a series. Yeah. Oh. It's like Michelle Michelle and I is like, oh, we watch the TV so we eat slower. It's not about what you watch or what you eat, it's about the time spent. It's the entire experience put together. Mm. Yeah. So I'm, <sighs> I'm guessing you won't lah. No, when you probably not. No. Such a boring person. No, you just <laughs> talk, la, you know, you just talk no, to your partner. But, but sometimes but you just need to be quiet and just Then you just eat in quiet though? No lah, you will still talk one while you watch. Talk, uh, I, I cannot, know. I cannot eat in silence because you know why. Let's say for example, me and Michelle we eat right, and all we hear is a cling clang. I was like, then I'll be like, "What's wrong? Are you angry at me?" You know, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. Yeah, put music. You put music on. No, cannot, cannot, cannot. Yeah. I feel weird when you put music at home, especially. <laughs> huh? Weird man. Yeah, music during dinner is where you eat at such a bougie place. You know. I love putting music on at home though. Depending on like de- when you're de- like cleaning your room or whatever, just put on the music. That's different, okay? That's to make that, that activity seem less boring because you're doing it alone. Yeah. But now that we are another person, why do you need something else to take away the experience from the two persons? You know what I mean? <laughs> True. 
What? Wait, can you repeat that? Can you repeat that phrase again? I can't. I can't. Why, I can't. <laughs> why do you need what? No. Why do you why need do music? You why do you need music to enhance the experience between two persons who why love each other? Why do you need other? TV to enhance the experience between two people who know each other? You see, it's the context. <laughs> hey, shut up. Okay, we can go on and on about this. Yeah, but it's the it's situational, situational, situational. Yeah. Okay. It's not boring. Okay. No, <laughs> what sometimes like, is boring? no, sometimes we watch the TV, right? And then we watch. What do you watch? Then... What do you watch? What do you watch? Um, wait. Let me think. What's the last thing we watched? Okay, like, I say this now, like, but maybe oh, like, one year later. Beef, I beef, beef, beef. Have you oh watched beef? Oh my god. Oh, beef. So, oh, good. so good. That show is damn good, man. So good. If you ever watch beef, you only watch beef too. Like, it's so good. Highly recommend. Half of me thinks that, like, you know, the road rage uh, was inspired by a Malaysian incident. He, the writer probably came to Malaysia, <laughs> got into a road rage with a, with a Malaysian fella, and then went home. I'm going to write a story about this. So good. The yeah, show it's is. Yeah, so good. You're, 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 we're not going to spoil it, but man. it's really good. Yeah, so good. Uh, Steven Yeun, it's amazing. Steven Union. Yeah, I love his Ellie acting. Ellie Wong also. Ellie yeah. Wong was oh. fantastic in that show. I, I randomly had uh, drinks with Steven Yeun without knowing one night in, in Los Angeles. And oh, I think you told me this yeah, before. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I was at Arden Cho and then uh, we were having drinks and then we had a bunch of Korean guys come in and then I was like, okay, yeah, hey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we were just drinking, okay, drinking, drinking. Okay, Mister. Then after that, uh, I didn't know who he was. I was just like, oh, Steven. I'm like, okay, okay, you don't okay. watch. You don't watch Walking Dead. No, he it? didn't know. Then after until my David like David Charles like, oh, you know who who he is? I was like, no. Oh, he's the Walking Dead guy. And I'm like, oh man. You, you in my mind, I'm like, oh, guy. okay. I don't watch Walking Dead. I'm like, oh. Then I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> he say, oh, but the head still don't know who. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but like, and then after that, I saw. Then after when you came back, you saw your pictures at like, Akula. Then after we were watching him beef, right? He's like, wow, he's so good actor, man. He's so, so good. good. So I was like, good. oh. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Since you brought this up, right? I want to ask. Okay, let's say, right? You saw a celebrity. Yeah. But you didn't know he was a celebrity, and then someone told you he was a celebrity. Will you still go up and be like, hey, can I have, get get a picture? No. You won't. No. Nope. Just because you don't know him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I wouldn't. Yeah. I would. But if I pers- if I know who that person is and I'm a big fan, I straight away die die. I want I want to have okay, a picture. What if like you know? Because it feels like a cop out, lah. I feel like yeah, yeah. yeah. If suddenly you know, oh, you know, a celebrity only want to take picture, lah. I feel yeah. like ah, ah, ah. Okay, okay. What if like he's celebrity? You know, he's a celebrity. Yeah. But you're not like a big fan, but you just saw him. Will you ask for a picture? Not really. Oh okay. I think like. Did you? Nah. No, nah. Yeah, I, th- I guess I feel like a lot of people would though. I, yeah, it depends. Okay, it depends I mean, who lah. If yeah, it's la. people like The Rock, Takan. Oh, if, I'm gonna ask. Yeah, if Takan, even if you're not a fan of him, Takan, you're, you're not gonna ask a I'm question. It's, he's a uh, huge uh, like. Yeah. If it's like Ginny boy, nobody will freaking care to take a picture. It's Jin. So. I took a picture of Jin. <laughs> 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 hey, I took a picture of you eh, last time. Okay, like, shut up. Enough, 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 enough. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but no. Young boy. Yeah, I think I think it depends on who it is lah. If it's like let's say Barack Obama, obviously you wanna go take a picture with Barack Obama. You're not big fan of him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it depends. It really depends. I mean, it comes to a point where it's okay. There, there'll be times where it's okay or not. It's okay if I take or don't take a picture with this person. But there'll be instances where <gasps> I want to have a picture with this person. You know what I mean? I think also is the situation. Like for example, uh, let's say if you do see the rock and he's like, you can see he he's like super busy. Yeah, like, he's really like not in not say not in the mood uh, but like you know he's doing his own thing. And you pass it to catch up. I probably won't ask for. No, but what if like he's? I probably chewy chewy take picture on the side there. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do like a sneaky a sneaky selfie <laughs> kind of thing, but I won't be like, hey, Mister The Rock, can you take uh, a picture uh, with uh, me? Uh. You know. But what if he's like openly like taking pictures with people? Oh yeah, but the then line Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, if he, if, take, uh. if he was openly taking pictures with people and every single one is being friendly, now, oh of course lah. Like, opp- like a meet and greet, you know. Ah, yeah. opportunity uh, there. Even if it's not a meet and greet where he comes out with a bunch of people and he's willing to stop. Yeah. 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 And uh, if not, it's just the churi churi. Hey, guess who I met? Don't believe then you churi churi one selfie. Then. Yeah, I mean, who's the biggest celebrity you've met? Uh, you've met a lot, lah. You also have met Ryan. Also have met. Have I met a lot? Not really. Because what I met probably. Simu Long. Oh yeah, Simu. that was Simu. cool. Yeah, he met Simu Liu and he had Korean barbecue with Simu Liu. Cool what guy. What did I meet? I can't really remember. Do you meet? No, do you do your press junket that time? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking about others. Have I met? <gasps> Oh, the one we can't say we met. Uh, the we did the interview with him, but it was on on online. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, for yeah, Tenet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what's his name again? Who acted in Tenet? Uh, uh, uh sh- now you put me on the spot. I Is it the the uh, black American guy? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I'm JD, JD, John David. Oh, he's somebody's yeah. son or something. John like David that. Washington. Uh, yeah, Denzel's, Denzel's, Denzel's Washington son. son. Yeah. yeah. How much you've met a lot? Yeah, but at at the top of my head, honestly. 
Like I just remember MKBHD. Oh <laughs> yeah, 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 that was cool. That was oh cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was cool. I, I took that picture for sure. Face like, go, Linus go, also. go, go, go. You take one of Linus that time also. No, no, no I didn't meet Linus. I, I wanted to, but I saw I Linus see with him. He and his Did signature he? sandals. Yeah. yeah. He was oh my sandals. god! Oh, the three of us actually were in. Was it? Was it New York or LA? Uh, no, I wasn't in New York. San Fran. San Fran. Yeah. It was so fun, right? We were just in this one huge event with Samsung, and there's so many YouTubers, yeah, yeah. famous ones, were just there, and we were like just culture shock. We still, who's the boss? Also, yeah. Oh no, that's the New York oh, one. Uh, and then there's y'all a, saw him. I'm yeah, meet she him, took bro. a picture with him. I no, think. that's Super Seth. Oh, Super Seth. Oh, no, yeah, the Super Seth. Yeah. Then yeah, the, the MKVHD one for me was like I was stunned now. Like, oh my yeah, god, yeah, it's yeah. MKVHD, and he I'm like such a so big fan. Tall. He's so tall. Yeah, and then uh, we, yeah, you took a picture with him too, right? No, I don't. I didn't take a picture. I got a signature on oh. my phone cover. Then I don't know where the phone cover went. Mm. Damn. Yeah, sorry. Work, working, working. You know, I went there for working. I need to be professional a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so hard to like not fangle over people sometimes because of work. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Gotta, like, like even like cool. yeah, like even in the Dota scene, right? Because I met a lot of pro players, right? At the start, I'll be like, oh my god, super fan girl. Then after I realized, like, oh, we're kind of like friends now, but I still kind of feel like I still have like the fan in me. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like I have to like play it cool because it's like these people are like so chill. Actually, to be honest, all these people are all human too. Exactly. Most of the time, they will be in awkward position if you ask them for a picture. If they, s- they most of the time say yes. Mm. Yeah. But I know for a fact that some celebrities they don't because they are just downright tired. Yeah. Like Michelle, uh, my wife Michelle used to manage people. They would just nicely say, hi, I'm, I'm just feeling not good today. Um, mm-hmm. Is it possible for you to not have any pictures? I mean, not not entertain any picture opportunities and she has to say no. She has to be the bad person to tell everybody no. I mean, it is tiring, la, you know. You, yeah, you yeah. Take, yeah. Imagine we take, you know, you go out your group of friends, you want to take your good picture so so mafan fun already, right? Yeah. You, you do that uh, 200 times in a day, right? I think you also will be damn tired already. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and she, she used to manage artists, right, who had to, start, who had to basically do a mass autograph session of 5,000 people. Oh, God. Yeah. Then after that, the next day, she fly to another country, do an, another mass aut- uh, autograph and fly, 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 fly every day, every night, every night. So it's a crazy. bit crazy. Yeah. yeah so uh, celebrities are all humans and they are working yeah. and, and and you see we always think that stress is always behind the desk nine to five but all entertainers are have a different kind of level of stress mm-hmm. especially if you think about those people those uh artists who do a concert yep and then after the concert straight fly to the next country yeah sleep that night next day concert again and their concerts are like two hours long and yeah. you can see the performance they're putting so much effort it's actually when you think about it, right? Every night's doing a concert like that for like three, like of course not every night lah, but like consecutive nights for like three, four weeks straight, right? It's so much work. It's so tiring. And most of the time, it's not three, four, four weeks straight. It's the whole entire year. Ah yeah, they tour for one year. Yeah. yeah sometimes yeah. they sleep in the bus also. Yeah. Yeah yeah. The bus very really nice. Do you see Justin Bieber's one? Justin Bieber ma. Yeah, like his tour bus, right? Oh, there's a big ass bed. Like it's yeah. So like, yeah like, that's where he sleeps. Like, that's his yeah, bedroom. It's, it's so not just bougie, a bus, dude. you know. It's his bedroom. Really. I think yeah. his bus was like three million dollars. Oh damn. Yeah. It has like a toilet too. I'm like, wow. Dude, it's everything. A PS5, Control. got toilet, it, it, and and the side of the bus, right? Basically, comes out and it becomes a full size living room. It's tra- it's his traveling hotel. Man. <clears> yeah. yeah. He needs to sleep there. The man has to work. Yeah. And 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 sometimes this this yeah is them. I don't know how they do it lah. Like, sometimes it's quite, quite pitiful la. They really don't have a life outside uh, other than just performing uh. Like Justin Bieber, I think like did over over like almost two hundred shows in a year. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, like yeah. that's like he was supposed to come here well, until he got his uh, almost illness. three. It's like three shows a week. Eh. How does he do it? It's so crazy. Yeah. And he always has to sing like. 15 songs every performance imagine yeah. he has to sing the same songs over and over again the like, same oh. performance uh, over yeah. and over again yeah uh. and you always have to you know f- like you have to give be it inspired and, and make it look like it's your first time performing in front of your fans that kind yeah. of thing it's not easy yeah, yeah. so it's an art so <sighs> yeah but you know people always see you know just one side of things too. I mean I guess different people have different lives like yeah. you know, some people would rather do that than what they're doing you know, you know at one point I thought I wanted to be a singer I wanted to like tour yeah what, what, <laughs> what's, what's his, what's his, what's his, what's his band I name again I, I don't mind people laughing at me but uh, yeah. what's what's shit, name again? my band name, name is called Vespertine Vespertine yeah Vespertine there we go okay so what happened why do you not want to continue oh uh, because my guitarist went to do his medical degree <laughs> <laughs> my 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 drummer went to do his culinary arts degree in Chicago 
Uh, then I went to Perth to study. And then everybody had their own things. Ah. You can but go you solo. Yeah, ma. I didn't think of going solo. Solo. <laughs> <laughs> you you don't cannot play guitar. Yeah, I know how to play guitar. Ah, then yeah, you go so solo why not? No one. La, I cannot. Why, why didn't you do all the, you know, the covers, song covers on YouTube that time? Uh, YouTube was not around at that point of time. Uh, yeah, I think like only after I, when I went to Australia, YouTube was a thing. So why didn't you do it? Because I didn't have the equipment to record myself. Like, you think I got money, is it? Hey, like we always say, no need equipment. Yeah, la, last, time got people, last time people where got, where got equipment, you just need a camera, just record. Upload. You think you think our phones can take care? Yeah, yeah, I could not afford a camera. No, no, no. Last time the phone, phone was so camera, chunky. Also care what? No, Shufei, there was no Shufei, phone camera. Shufei, Shufei, you got to think, his last time, right, the phone is not even touch screen. Right? Yeah, la. <laughs> it's got, there's keyboards on phones. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> but can record video, what? Cannot. Can, I had those. It's, the, it's worse than 480p. It doesn't matter. It matters. Yes, it does. Yeah. When I was... <laughs> you know, when I was, when I was in Australia, I actually... When I went to Austra- in Australia, I got the flip phone. It's, it, you, what? You, you went to Australia, right? Yeah. Why didn't you go basking? <laughs> because I would get thrown eggs at you know what I'm oh, <laughs> oh, la, wa, la. so many people do it oh yeah la, actually yeah a lot of people hey, you Missed know ah, hey, some of my college mates right they busk you know they're very good they're violin players classical oh, yeah. music you have to apply a permit right with the city council or something oh like I, I, I wasn't aware of that but they were yeah. Perth la, I studied at Perth they would just go there and they would make like me like maybe maybe like 50 Aussie okay, a if day anyone, a day yeah if anyone doesn't know yeah. what basking is basically uh, usually baskers right they will either have like a guitar or something anything yeah so they will like performer. stand at the side street of the performer. yeah performer. Street so performer. they'll stand at the side of the road yeah. so they'll put like maybe like a box there so they'll sing get donations yeah, yeah. so people like throw money inside the little box but you know the basking the basking scene in Japan is pretty cool because when I first went there there were crowds around all these buskers mm. one you know mm. it's red gang one have you yeah. seen the buskers in uh, Bukit Binda oh we have no. yeah outside McD that's the most like oh. the, the most oh. sought after busking but spot I, I, go 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 they even have like full set band yeah, got drums yeah, everything there one speakers and everything Wait, even in the afternoon no lah no, no, it's no, mostly no. at night it's the evening at night lah yeah yeah oh. Bukit Bintang outside the McD there that famous crossing there oh, is the I, number one like busking spot they I, apparently they take them long they have to book on that spot I see. you have to book on with the DBKL oh yeah yeah now you can see like there's this app that helps with the booking lah and then there's certain spots and everything you just go on the app you book your busking spot Right, mm. it's getting pretty regulated. It's quite Chi- cool. China also have a lot, so did, they I... will record and then they put on Douyin, right? Wow. Oh my god, China! So nice. I don't know, man. The country is scary. Like, Taiwan, yeah. Taiwan too. There was this girl who was a drummer. Her name was S White. She, she used to drums. drums in public, oh. and then she just blew up on 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 Facebook and on Instagram. She came to Malaysia once. I met her. Oh, yeah. Um, she was. Uh, we were part of this. Uh. A uh, concert uh, that was organized by Web TV Asia. She would, so they brought mm. down, brought her down and stuff. And until today, she's got a kid and she's still busking in in public. And she does live shows now. I mean, Jin, you still are. You, I mean, I feel like you you are still considered an artist. No, I'm not. Because every time Let's I go, go into Watson, Jin's, right? Jin's how, album. How do you? <laughs> no! <laughs> every time I hear this voice, I'm like, oh god. Hey Watson, hey, where's my royalties, man? <laughs> Watson, ka, ka. hurry, hurry, money, money. <laughs> Uh, you yeah. went from a rock so, man to a <laughs> so if you guys go to Watson's and you're wondering whose voice that is right <laughs> you know you know it's Gene's voice hey last time when I was doing radio we used to rap in the morning uh, that, that probably that was when we exercised the most uh, of my you know writing Every, all the parodies on hit last time I did with Ian I would take the lead and uh in oh, kind of like mm. not not write it but like when recording the execution yeah. of it I will take the lead of that writing will be both of us and then uh, the, the the audio production will be the engineer but for me it's just like the how to layer the voices and sing I will do the melody parts and Ian will do the rapping parts and stuff oh, like that's that. cool. that was cool yeah that was fun and we did a lot, a lot of these parodies I think I guess that, that was really when I enjoyed it do you take vocal lessons uh? no also you just my whole family are all in the arts my mom used to perform opera my she can sing opera. Your yeah, mom? yeah. Like what? Oh. Ta- the Tai Heon the the oh. yeah. My other cousins are. There was one point of time. So my mom's got nine brothers and sisters, right? And there was one time, all nine brothers and sisters with their kids. That means my cousins were a part of the Philharmonic Orchestra's King and I. Ooh. In the and we performed at the DBKL. They won. They won DBKL in KL. We you performed. Yeah, I was what one. You the, play the well, track. One of the fat kids. <laughs> oh no! Like uh, I thought you mean in the orchestra. Yeah, no, 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 no. We, we, the play lah, the play. The play so the I was play. one of the many king's children. 
You were the fat. Oh, you were the fat kid. Yeah, I was the fat kid. <laughs> and then that's where I. There were some very veteran actors who are here today. Her name is, oh, I can't remember. She's a white lady. Can't remember. But the one that guy is called Rumley. Um, yeah. Interesting. I can't remember who the rest were. You know. How old were you? Fuck. Oh, good question. I was. I. I. Uh, Six, seven years old, yeah. Mm, between seven to ten years old, lah. Uh. Oh, that's a, yeah, quite a while. Yeah, yeah. and then we had like uh, the then that's where I got to know about like stage performance. We had the matinee session and we had uh. the the night session. So the afternoon session, uh, will always the the main actors will always be played by understudies. Understudy, yeah. yeah. And then night one, it will be the main yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah. Man, to think you could almost be an artist. If I asked you to sing now, right? Do you think you have a good voice? No. Really meh? Yeah. Because I remember we did like some, what was it? Some Nestle, it was a Nestle Christmas campaign. Oh, thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then, what? He harmonized all the different parts and then he put it all together, right? It sounds pretty good, like acapella, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I feel yeah. like you can sing. Uh, I can, uh, but I only sing for my daughters now. Damn it. Oh, yo. Baby shark. Baby shark. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> the dad the dad life changed him already. I like uh after doing this for so long, right? And we did YouTube, there was one point of time I, I thought like, hey, you know what? Maybe like I would kinda uh pay a songwriter to write songs for me, I sing and I make my mm-hmm. own music videos because I still kinda liked when I when I was in a band, I liked performing in front of uh, a crowd. It was nice. The energy was just amazing. Uh, we we were the poor man's Linkin Park. <laughs> 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 yeah, you don't. You can't afford a Linkin Park concert ticket. It's so, okay, watch this for free. <laughs> yeah, so we had a rock band last time, and nice. Uh, funny. At one point, you guys were playing a lot of prom gigs, right? We opened for this band called Huberstank. I'm not sure if you. Know oh, that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I know yeah. that one yeah. song. When the reason was <laughs> the most popular song, we played. Uh, we we opened for their concert in uh, in Hatamas. It's the Equestrian Park, so that was a big deal for us. Then, then after that, we broke up. No, the study, guy, we didn't break up la, study, we, la. we went study study la. yeah then when we came back it's like uh, I feel like back in the day everyone wanted to form a band oh yeah yeah it yeah, is even, oh, even yeah. like with my thing, friends man. and I yeah, it was you, a thing yeah. Man. Taylor's right it was a thing you know Taylor's yeah. battle of the bands they called yeah, yeah, Taylor's yeah, I've heard of that B-O-T-B you yeah, know the, yeah. the, 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 uh, that word B-O-T-B was a thing yeah. did you join? yeah I did did you win? no I think I remember like Ming Deo in a band or so. What's the yeah, band yeah, called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With uh, Caris, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I can't remember. I think it's a uh, disappear. No, 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 disappear. no, no, no. It was um. Why well, I can't remember? But uh, I, remember so I remember. I remember era. watching them before also in playing Taylor last year. I then. remember the band. What once upon a time it was a sausage name Bob. Bob. That's yeah. Jared's yeah. band, lah. Yeah. Oh, that was he. That's yes, right. Jared Lee. Jared Lee. Oh, I was so YouTube. young. I didn't even know. And yeah. then, and then what? Honest mistake. And yeah, honest yeah, mistake yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. They're still around though. Yeah, they're still active. Uh. Yeah, they're still active. And uh, yeah, at one point, Taylor's actually was the Kickstarter for a lot of indie bands. I see. They had this like battle. It's like the highlight of the year. Mm. Every year, they will have like 4,000 people in the Taylor's car park. This is the old, the old one, not the new campus, but the one in SS15. Yeah, yeah. So you know, when you go into the compound, the it's a there, huge right? compound, right? Yeah, yeah. So imagine that, but a sea of people and there's one stage in front for uh, Battle of the Bands. Oh. Yeah. And it's pretty cool because it's, number one, you have like a whole bunch of people coming in to support their friends. Number two, uh, you it's it, the bands go up and they feel like, oh yes, the, the support of the local people are there. So it gives them hope and encouragement that like people will, you know, cheer on bands on stage that are, they're really good. Because there are two stages of it. First, you go for the audition. Then you go to a studio that you jam in front of them and then the judges who are also students. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll good judge. Enough, not good enough. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Okay, la, but back in the day, was it sustainable if you want to like hit down this, you know, nope. like band career thing? It didn't really make it. La. Yeah, you know, like I had like a band of seven people. There was me. There was a rapper. Okay. Uh, there were two guitarists. There was a violin player. There was a drummer, and there was a bassist. So there's seven of us. Mm-hmm. So we perform one day uh, for a show, and they they said that we're gonna pay you guys. I'm like, oh yes. They paid us eight hundred bucks. Divide by seven people. Hundred bucks a person. Less than hundred bucks per person. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. So yeah. Okay, lah. But that was back in the day, lah. Right. Like where social media wasn't like big and stuff. I yeah. Think, like, actually, you know, you know. Uh, we played, oh, I remember this. Uh, we played for a prom and we played for a prom together with Bungface. Oh. Before Bungface blew up. Oh, okay. And they okay. just started. And then I remember Sam coming up to me. So how? You know, you know, he, he, they were still singing English songs. Like, 
uh, well, you guys okay lah? You know, he was like, you know, like, oh, congrats lah, guys. Nice lah, uh, you guys. Before we say stuff like that, I, say, hey, I was like, hey, thanks, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Typical rock star lah. And then now, bunk face are huge, yeah. dude. They are like stadiums. They don't do Taylor's College compound. They do sta- They close out stadiums. Dang. Do you but still have your old songs? Uh, yeah, I do. They're all online. <gasps> SoundCloud. Oh, shit. I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, go on SoundCloud right now. No, no. Uh, I think I have one of the songs. Uh, there's one, actually, there's one song that I really like because I wrote it about... I want to listen to it. Is it n- good? N- Next no. episode, we're going to play No, it. no. I'm going to upload it into the podcast machine and we're going to play it here. No. <laughs> but, yeah, but it's a stage that everybody goes to. But, you know, sadly, we don't see that anymore on Taylor's. I know Taylor's has got a brand new campus now. Yeah. Hard, these kind of things, I feel like... No la, bands aren't really a thing anymore well. la, no. yeah. I feel yeah. it's because okay. I there's still a lot of people out there who are in bands. Okay. I feel that the media industry is uh, a little bit part of the the whole like the reason to why this trend was happening because they were playing a lot of rock. Like, yeah, 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 correct, correct. Yeah, so now it's definitely more of the indie. Yeah. Now, uh, very indie style it is. Now, it's now, oh. now it's style. a lot of like self-produced songs. Like self-produced, the, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like the one uh, with the whole entire song, the lyrics is only two words, you know. <laughs> no, 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 like a lot of them use like, you know, the DJ. No, la, but there's definitely still bands. Our, our colleagues in a band. Oh yeah. yeah. Tim Ooh. is in a band. Oh, we really? ju- we yeah, we just Tidal. hired a we just hired a we just hired a creative guy. Uh, and he has a band called Tidal. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Pretty good band, local band. Yeah. And uh, yeah, There's I feel definitely still bands out there, lah. Got lah. Actually, there are a lot of success stories uh, of local musicians going. I mean, you got you got Yuna, going. you got ZRV. Oh my god, do you see Talitas? Uh, oh, I haven't Instagram watched the new one yet. No, they, why? 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 But okay, so she said right, her song is supposed to come out at twelve a.m. like last night. Yeah. yeah. But when she check on, Sp- I don't know how it works. Mm-hmm. But like apparently twelve a.m. right, the song is supposed to appear on Spotify. But then she waited like twenty minutes, right? It didn't appear. Then she got so upset, so she went on Instagram to like, like apologize to everyone who was waiting for her song to release. Okay. Yeah, she do- she doesn't know where her song went and stuff like that. So oh. she she asked like everyone if you know everyone could like just be patient and like pre-save the song when it comes out. Actually, yeah. Talita is a damn talented person. She, yeah. she writes. She okay. is. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should bring her on the show one mm-hmm. day just to 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 find That's out what's new up. song. She has a new song. Very it's called fruitless. Six Hours. Yeah, I, 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 I saw her promoting about it, but I'm waiting to hear it. I haven't I heard it yet. I, I had it's a very good. I had a very brief chat with her. She's like, oh, you know, uh, somebody broke my heart, so I got more songs to write. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a Taylor Swift. That's like the, the few Swift tank, Swift. the few tank. Yeah. No, but it's true though. I feel like songs work very well when it's written about love and heartbreak. You know that joke yeah. about Adele if, if a child's like, if the child asks, mommy, what happened to you? Then, okay, listen to this album. <laughs> mommy, <laughs> why, why, are you, why are you and daddy not together? Okay, now you listen to this album. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh man. I, it's so funny you mentioned Adele. I saw this dad joke the other day. It was so stupid. It's like uh, Adele, uh, I, I, you know what? I don't want to spoil it. One day when I find it, I'll, I'll, Jit, Jit, what? now that you're a dad, right? Do you call dad jokes just jokes? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Hey, my daughter is funnier than me, though. Yeah, no, she, your daughter is hilarious. Yeah, she's hilarious. starting she's to so like. Funny. She's starting to like be so funny, and, and Michelle started said, "I think she got it from you." Wait, like, which oh. daughter? You have two daughters. The one that can the talk, one. Yeah, la, the one can talk, la. What the younger one is funny too. Yeah, she's pretty funny. Oh my god, you see the fake cry out. So funny. It's like there's no tears. Then she like. Yeah, it's like I said. It's like it's if right. All these kids, these babies, right? They need to reach a certain age to unlock a certain the skill. Yeah, yeah skill set. They need to level, level up. up. Yeah, Bro. the minute she hits three years old, okay, I can talk now. You they know what I mean? Because this, life. this literally what happened with Kazel. It's like at, at one at one years old, blah 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 blah, blah two years old, blah 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 blah. Three year old. Hey man, can I have that water downstairs? <laughs> yeah, could you like, get a cold one for me? Yeah. Uh, so the the youngest one now is pretending the cries to get what she wants. It's like they understand how they to know, get you. They know. Mm. Yeah, but it's nice to see though, because Kaiser and Kaiser wasn't like that, right? When she was young. Uh yeah, Kaiser. They cook. They're two completely different yeah, individuals. That's so I interesting. Know, Chloe is so cute. I can't but yeah. I can tell you, I can She's say, so I can tell, I can say this. So, I think like uh the youngest one, uh Chloe, is about to be. I mean, we are starting to kind of correct her, like uh a certain things she can't do, so we punish her lah. Mm. Her punishment is to be in the playpen. Oh no, like jail like that. Right? Yeah, like, like jail yeah, Then yeah. she'll cry like, like that. Timeout corner. Kaiser. Uh, the, oh, me and Michelle, we saw this today. We were so shocked. Bye. When we put her in the playpen, obviously the baby cried, ma, yeah. a lot, like really loud. And then Kazo, well, we were having dinner, and then she just went to the playpen. She just went there and disappeared. And then she came back, 
And when she came back, right, she was trying very hard to hold her tears. Ayo. And then she sat down, eat her food, and then tears started rolling down her Ayo. sides. Then I'm like, why? What's wrong? I'm sad that my Mimi is upset. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Then she's Ayo. like, can I? Then she's like, can I have some privacy? And me and Michelle was like, where did she learn that word? <laughs> and then we are like, okay. She really said privacy, this word. Yeah. Then she went to the, the playpen. She climbed over the playpen. And then sit down with her sister, and the sister Aww. talk stop crying. Are you? Oh, so sweet. Yeah. And then after that, when it stopped already, right? Then I I talked to her. I was like, why? What's what happened? She's like, I love my Mimi. I was like, okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't want to see my Mimi cry. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. What hey. if your daddy cry? That's okay. <laughs> 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 hey, but this is rare sight to see, though. Cause yeah, it is. These siblings, right? They, they argue. Fight. They fight when they are young, and then when as they grow older, that's when like, they kind of like build the relationship. No, no, no. They, they, she, they don't fight. But Kezo also still like snatches stuff from her. Like you know, when the baby is playing with one toy, Kezo wants to snatch it. You yeah. know what I mean? And the same thing is Kezo play one thing, they'll snatch it, and they'll start, they'll start snatching it. Yeah, yeah. But at that point of time, the fights will come. Also, yeah, the sister yeah. was crying, and when she acted like that, both of us like. Oh, she knows how to feel like that one. Uh. <laughs> Very emotionally mature. Yeah. But so, I think the fights will still come, right? especially when they yeah. hit like seven. Between the ages, like when they start going to school, right? Confirm will have some fights. Uh, oh uh. my God. Yeah. You, you cannot imagine. You fight your brother. A lot, dude. Okay. Until like, now? Lot. No, la, oh, okay. last time la, when we were younger. I still remember that time we just got a PC or something. And then we, because no Wi-Fi, no nothing ma. So yep. we can only use that one computer. So me and my brother will always fight over it. And then there was one, I still remember this, so embarrassing, but it's very funny. So um, back then there was no like, um, like no social media, no nothing, right? We yep. just had emails. Mm. Emails was like the thing. So I, I emailed my cousin, you know, I was like, I hate my brother. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I was like, I hate my brother. Like, <laughs> they got email subject oh then to your cousin, God. I hate my yeah. brother. Dear cousin, I'm writing you today to tell you that I hate my brother. Yeah, you know how kids like write, right? Like, I hate my brother, then exclamation, exclamation. <laughs> spam, no, like, wow. I, don't, I don't remember what else I wrote, but I remember there's a first line. Oh, God. And then like 10 years later, right, my cousin brought this up. And he's like, I think it was like recently, and then she brought it up. Do you remember that time you hate your brother so much? Just emailed me like, <laughs> yeah, full ass. <laughs> Letter, like, oh, you hate your brother. Oh my god. Then uh, did you, oh, so I funny. thought you were about to say your brother came across that email. No. <laughs> That's so funny though. The email though. Yeah. Did you even MSN email? Did bro. you did you used to write emails to people? Yeah. No, I didn't. I, I was did. MSN. No, you know there was this era whereby because recently, right, I went through my emails. I wanted to delete all the old ones. So I yeah. went, you know, there's the sorting one. So you yeah. can sort, sort from oldest. Uh. So I'm, oh my god. I went down memory lane, bro. You know, last I time emails, right? People. No, you know, emails last time was what? Like, you forward a lot of shit to your yeah, friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. Forward this. Chain mails, your even chain yeah. mails, yeah. Chain mails, I remember. Holy but yeah. shit. Like, you, wait, you never used MSN, ah? Uh? I did, but oh, that was this... like before before MSN came about. It was all email. Oh, you started yeah. using computer really young then? Yeah, like I was 11, 12, I think. You had yeah. a titled child. No. Yeah, I started when I was in 12, la, but what? when I was 12, what? the heck same lah same, la, same era la. yeah sh- but then I straight went into MSN la. then oh, really? my ah. friend taught me uh, how to do the smiley face with the the, the icons the icon and, yeah. and everything it's like oh so this is smiley face oh. and last time it's not the last time it's not the dot dot you use the equal sign on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you used yeah. to draw a bloody yeah f- like you and know then you poke people until their, their computer hang like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> until their computer hang gay and it was fun though yeah it, it was what fun happened? what happened yeah. Um, Facebook. Facebook. Facebook killed know. it. But it was still fun, no? I, mm. Honestly, right? I messed up really No, actually, like... BlackBerry killed it uh, first. Why then BlackBerry? Because BBM. Because BBM. BBM. Uh, but we don't have BBM. We no, do? I, what do you mean? We, I mean, we, not we, a lot of people use BBM. God, uh, God at the time, my time, it was what a thing. Because yeah. it was so cheap to message I people. I had BBM. But yeah. none yeah. of my friends had then BBM. I, okay, okay, maybe not BBM, but a lot of things are... ICQ came first, then ICQ died because of MSN. Then MSN came, it was the hot oh, thing. Oh, Friendster. Friendster. No, but Friendster had no messaging app. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Friendster yeah. died because of Facebook. Uh, yeah. And then Facebook had their in messaging app. And that's why, I mean, MSN and Facebook were going concurrently. And then they realized that, you know what? I think we just get rid of MSN. Yeah. Oh, but MSN was so fun. Yeah. Actually, it reminds me of Steam. Because Steam, Steam, you yeah, it's yeah. like a little like border that you just click on your friends and you type. Yeah. But obviously, MSN is more fun. La. 
But emails though, it was fun. All the chain mails. I should go back. I used to receive a lot of emails from Oh my the, god, chain mails dude. Yeah. I used to receive a lot of emails from the prince of uh Dubai. Nigeria. Yeah, I, didn't. <laughs> I am the prince of Nigeria. Nigeria. <laughs> I need a I place need to, to deposit fifty million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember those chain mails, right? They start off with like some grandma story and it is like, forward this email to 12 people or you, you die. die. Like, yeah! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like when my friends forwarded me that on school, I will call them straight away. Hey, you idiot. <laughs> Except when it, there was the girl that I liked to forward it to me and I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> when you do that? Yeah, forward it to five people or your crush won't like you back. Yeah. Like, oh, oh my God, it was so man. funny though. Like, I read back, I'm like, oh my God, the we actually did this. The early days of the internet was wild. Yeah, man. dude, it's Honestly, so wild, Honestly, it was dude. so wild. And yeah. there's also personality tests you did after you do it. Yeah, then you then the email will right? email your friends, this is what your friend got, do it too. <laughs> oh, hey, good oh times though. Yeah, good times. Now it's everything. Man. Yeah, that was fun. That one actually encouraged you. You know, that one and that was good because you know why we the 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 wait time of the response was where the the kanchong yeah, the kanchong news was. Yeah, the person is typing you like. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. But oh. today everything is so instant that we take everything else for that we take communication for granted sometimes between friends. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I think not just friends, like even in workplace, uh, Like, yeah, I, know. I I I read somewhere they said like the fact that you can reach anyone any at any time. It's like it, it shifts the mindset of people to like you have to reply now. You know, back then you send one email, you wait. Yeah. You wait two days return. Even Ooh. before email, you send one fax, send one letter. You yeah. don't know when you're gonna get a reply. You, you send know? a letter to a friend, it takes seven days. Now you text people, right? They don't text you back immediately, like, hey, what what's happened? up? Yeah. What happened? Why are you ignoring me? Blah blah blah. Yeah, so everything is expected to be instant yeah. because of tech. I mean there's there's a good side of it, like, you know, but like this is the another black like, bad side of it, I yeah, guess long. you could say. Yeah, I wish with tech clients would pay faster. Okay, that's a top. <laughs> that's a topic for another day. That's a topic <laughs> for yeah, another day. <laughs> yes, exactly. But yeah, I to be honest, we came on this show not knowing what we want to talk about, but it's good kept we, to catch we up. Went one yeah. whole circle and don't know. The when. producers will have a hard time thinking of a topic for this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amisha. She's actually our intern, so big up. <laughs> She's been coming up with all the uh, uh, topics for the previous episode, so thank you very much. Yeah. So before we go, you guys have any last words? Uh, no. I mean, have what? a good day, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> See you in the next one. Yeah. Hopefully it's not end of the year. Oh, hey, sorry. Uh, Jeannie, our producer, started a Discord, um, Mama Sessions Discord group. Oh, we we do we have oh yes we have it now yeah. <laughs> so it's so totally not my first time hearing about it. Yeah 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 yeah. So like uh, we're supposed to kind of push it out. So I think uh, with this episode we can safely say that we're gonna announce it. We're gonna yeah, okay, release it. Yay. We are on Discord. So go join, join the, server. the server. Join the conversation. And uh, who knows? The next topic could be contributed, or you know, we can actually have a live mama session recording. Yeah, oh yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, mm. we've done this for three years, but we've never had a live show. And I know for a fact that today we have 1.5 million listeners listening. Oh, wow! Whoa. We have had over 1.5 million listeners listening to the mama session show, which is uh, wow, amazing. Thank you very much. So do forget, hey, don't forget, blah. don't forget to follow us on our socials it's at Mamak Sessions. Thank you very much, guys. We'll speak to you next one. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.